Mauritania. It's a dangerous place. It's got werewolves. It's got vampires. It's got whatever bloat is. I'm not afraid of any of those things. What I am afraid of is accidentally walking too far south. Mauritania is much like the Death Star. There are no guardrails here. There is an elegant solution to this. It's a plugin used by chunk locked accounts. And if I select all chunks north of the wilderness ditch as unlocked, I have my boundary. Unfortunately, the elegant solution doesn't work because that's not my boundary. This is. So here's my less than elegant solution. I'm just gonna mark every 10 or so tiles. Certainly not pretty, but it works. <laughs> Excuse me. Nice farm you guys got. And we've made it. Now that we got that out of the way, we may now enjoy Mauritania and all it has to offer. I bought some secateurs so when my bush gets diseased, I don't have another aneurysm. Welcome back. In the last episode, we crafted way too many pairs of Yakite pants and unlocked Mauritania. This time, we're gonna do Mauritania things. Because we unlocked it. I am excited to finally start some real farming with these patches here, as opposed to only growing hops and bushes. But I do need to break my looting bag first to get my seeds. Alright, seed retrieval mission complete. Okay, this one we're fine, but here we need to go diagonally through the reeds. And that's the only sketchy part. What are we, 16 farming? Looks like we're just gonna be using the allotments to start. My cabbages! 17 farming? Yo, the cabbages lived? <coughs> Onions are dead though. I should probably do something about this. I could just sit here with plant care, but like, I got videos to edit, man. What do you need to protect this anyway? Sack of potatoes? Huh. I do have potato seeds, but you know what? I know a guy. Hey Sigmund, what's up? Everything's alive. Might as well make some compost too. I can buy this from the farming store, so I'm really just doing this for the XP. 19 farming, that's the level for Terramin, which my seeds are over there, but we can now use the herb patch. Also, I just noticed that the Slayer ring isn't centered like other rings are. This is gonna bother me forever. I hope this is fixed by the time this video comes out. It isn't. Also, I'm clearly distracted from editing. Don't look at me. Do, do not perceive me. 20 farming. Big poggies. What? Wait, I swear to God I had two more Terramin seeds. Did I use them all? Seag off. Yeah. 21 farming. Crandorian hops. Which, we have some of those seeds. You want three sacks of cabbages to protect this? Hmm. Huh. I know a guy. And they're already dead. At least we can protect the next batch. Speaking of hops, kind of, I'd like to try something. I have four Harlanders here, and I don't have the level to turn them into tar for Herblor XP. Instead, I'd like to try brewing them into Greenman's Ale. Now, I can get Greenman's Ale from the lighthouse whenever I want, and I even have a barrel of it in my POH, but there is a chance when brewing that your ale becomes mature, giving a plus two boost instead of a plus one and a single extra level could be a real time save. Say I'm trying to make Staminas at level 75 Herblor, having a mature Greenman's Ale would save me 100k Herblor XP. And the best part is that once I get the mature ale, I can just leave it here. The barrel stores eight glasses worth, so I can just take from it as I need it. Uh, no, that's the rat pits. Where, the, where am I supposed to be going here? Oh, it's up here. It does occur to me that I have no idea how to do this. I've never brewed anything before in my 15 years of playing this game. Let's just do a quick Google here. Step one, fill the vat with two buckets of water. Step two, add two barley malt to the, ah crap, hang on. Now you can only cook barley on a range and there are actually no marked ranges in Kelligram. But I do remember all the way back in episode one, 
while looking for the non-existent furnace, I found this thing. Is that a range? What? And now, 13 episodes later, we find its purpose. This is what we in the business call foreshadow it. Oh. I see. Sorry guys, this isn't a range. This is actually a stationary fire. You know, like the one in Rogue's Den. They're practically identical. Silly me, I guess. Okay. Step two, add two barley malt to the vat. Step three, add the stuff. Uh, the stuff is a reward from the Trouble Brewing minigame, which is located on Mostly Harmless, which is way out of my area. Fortunately, this step is actually optional. It just increases the chance that the ale becomes mature from 5% to 36%. Or is it 64%? There's a bit of a disagreement on the wiki here. To no one's surprise, this part of the game hasn't been very well documented. We will be omitting the stuff. It's probably not very good for you anyway. Apparently it's been banned by the Cook's Guild. Step four, add four Harlander. Easy enough. Step five, add ale yeast. The hell is ale yeast? Oh, you can just pay the dwarf here 25 GP and he'll fill your pot with yeast. That sounded so much worse than I wanted it to. Step six, wait 32 hours. What, I'm not just gonna stand here the whole time I got stuff to do. 23 farming, and that is the end of our farming journey for now. Harlander and Limpwort both require level 26 to plant, and Renar is at 32. So we're just gonna hang on to these until I get some more lower level seeds from Slayer. Speaking of Slayer, do we currently have a task? Oh, we do. It's Dark Warriors. My next main goal on this account is partially related to Slayer. I'd like to get 85 combat, which is the last requirement I need for Dream Mentor. Now, I am currently melee based, so this isn't a particularly fast way to gain combat levels, but while I'm doing this, I am inching closer to several longer term goals. And that's task completed. Dark Warriors continues to be a very boring and uneventful assignment. And that's why they're one of my favorites. Next task, Fire Giants. Oh, that's really interesting. We have killed these before, but not on a Slayer task. The shape of this dungeon has changed since the last time we were here. But I'm not complaining, we now have a new safe spot. This task is a little risky. This is the only place to kill these in the whole wilderness, so it's reasonably populated, which means PKers will probably come. I had an idea to wait out the aggro timer and corner safe spot the giants on the other side of the lava lake, which would give me ample time to log out if anybody appeared by what I assume is the more common safe spot. This is how that idea went. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do this task late at night. <laughs> Last time we were here, we were hunting the Rune Scimitar. We don't really need that item anymore, so I can pretty much guarantee that one's gonna show up. Yeah, that seems about right. Speaking of underwhelming drops, here's a Slayer enchantment in this pile of garbage. Laren's key odds are actually not terrible from these. I don't know why I bother. Okay, I'm considering holding onto one of these to train melee later, but I definitely don't need two. A decent number of these bots have been running by. I think they're telegrabbing wines of Zami, but they do give me a little spook every time one shows up. Level 53 Slayer, 72 ranged. Ah! Come on, man, they're scary. Genie? You know, last time I wished for a Laren's key and it came true. Honestly, I'm fine with no keys this task, I just don't want to get PK'd. I'm kidding, it's just another bot. Could you imagine though? Oh god! Wait. Blue wizard robes. I gotta say, I can't remember the last time I've seen someone wearing blue wizard robes. He's wearing the skirt that gives no stats, too. Rune scimitar number three. I feel like I'm just being taunted at this point. Task completed. Mammoths. Nice. We can get back to farming training sooner than expected. Now, everyone's heard of Wilderness Slayer. But, consider this. Wilderness Herblore. That is the fastest Laren's key I have ever received. I don't even have a looting bag yet. All right, let's go turn this in. Ugh, ugh. That's not great. I honestly think I just hold on to this until I get a coal drop at some point. 
That's probably the best thing to... Is that... Is that one of the bots that was pissing me off at Fire Giants? I'm doing it. I'm getting them. Oh, he's got a lot of retaliate on. He doesn't see what's coming. Oh no, he's gonna get away! That's unfortunate. He's just gonna... Hang on a sec. No, please. After you, sir. Haha! -ha. I splashed. We gave it our best shot. Oh yeah, the iron. I'm just gonna bag these for now, and then hopefully we'll get some coal at some point. 54 Slayer, and that is task completed with two more Laren's keys, and about a bajillion seeds. Whoa! That could have been really bad. You know, every time I make that teleport, I have the logout screen open, and I think it just saved my life there. From the magic box, dragon arrow tips, and diamonds. Diamonds are a little bit less useful now that I likely never need to train crafting again, but this is still a good chunk of cash. 38 Herblore, we no longer need to boost for prayer potions. I'm selling the arrow tips to the Lunar Isle General Store now, as I've learned it gives a little bit more gold than Sigmund. And that's about 120k profit from the items from Laren's chest. 24 farming. 25 farming. 26 farming. We can finally plant Limpert Roots and Harlander. Nice, we can now actually use all the patches. 27 farming. I can't plant either of those. I think today's the day my Grimman's Ale is finally finished. Yes it is. And it's not mature. Well, no surprises there. And I completely forgot to cook my barley. I'll be back. Also, great news everybody, there is no option to empty the barrel, and there is no option to empty a beer glass. So the only thing I can do here if I want to keep brewing is chug the entire contents of the barrel. I hope the next batch is mature. Oh my god, there's another person here. I think there's ever been two people brewing here at the same time before? Lamau, mature without the stuff. First try. Man, what the f*** is this f***ing bullshit? Where the f*** did you even come from? You're the only other f***ing asshole in this entire game to do the shitty ass content. You f***ing get the f***ing mature ale in your first f***ing try. Fuck! Twenty-eight farming. Twenty-nine farming? I have this quest done, but I cannot grow goatweed. Thanks for lying to me, Jagex. 30 farming, and that is pretty much the last of the seeds, so we will be heading back to Slayer... now. Rogue's task? I decided I'm gonna melee these on defensive. It saves me from having to pick up my arrows, and it gets me just a little closer to 85 combat. Task completed? I'm always surprised at just how many herbs these guys drop. Next up, Moss Giants, those we haven't killed before. Wait, hang on a sec. How... how dangerous is this task? These are only located next to the canoe spot in level 35 wilderness, and they're literally surrounded by PK hotspots. You've got black chins to the south, lava dragons to the east, and rev caves to the west. Maybe I'm over-exaggerating, maybe this isn't as dangerous as I'm making it out to be? I don't know, I've never killed these before, but I don't intend on finding out today. I'm skipping this task. What else you got for me? Ice Warriors? That one I will do. But not before some quick wildy herb lore. Oh hey, how's it going? Let me help you with this guy. Alright, place your bets. You think this is a bot or a real person? Noibro. Hmm. Sounds like something a bot would say. What about this one? He's got a dragon pickaxe. Surely he's not a bot. Trippo? Trip? Yeah, I don't think he's passing a Turing test. What is that guy doing? I don't know, that one's a bit suspicious. I'm gonna hop. Oh, hey, man. Man, Ice Warriors on a Friday night. Apparently, it's the place to be. 73 ranged, task completed. And again, good number of herbs and a few seeds this time, too. 31 farming, but my strawberry seeds are in the looting bag, so can't do those yet. 56 defense. I was just really close to that level. And my ale isn't mature again. Jump, 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 jump. 
50 smithing? <laughs> From making a gold bar for a slayer ring? That might be the most random level I ever get. Great news, everybody. I found a use for the apples and the ladies' A. I'm putting them in baskets and using them to protect my strawberries. Now we're gaming. Yeah, these past clips have been kind of all over the place. I've been busy with a bunch of editing, so I've just been doing idle tasks like farming and brewing. And maybe some light AFKing as well. Hello there. Whoa, take it easy there, pal. Feral vampire, I will not be accused of plagiarism today. That was a close one. I've had eight glasses, and this ale doesn't taste very mature. At least it didn't go bad like the next batch. Also, why am I on resizable mode? That's better. Hey, it didn't go bad this time. It didn't go good either, but you know. Also, I'm done with my video. I can play the game again. There's no more LMS on free-to-play worlds, but it's pretty much all still the same. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes your opponent hits you back-to-back -back 24s through Prey Melee. Sometimes you switch to Prey Range when your opponent pulls out their Elder Maul. No, 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 wait, wait, wait! But every once in a while, the clouds part and you're given a gift. What could it be, you ask? My goodness, it's a thousand Morgan's Javelins! Nice! I was worried I was gonna run out. Hellhound's task? I'm killing these up here now since I can teleport out using my ring, and I think it'll give me an extra second or two if a PKer shows up. 55 Slayer, that's the level for broad weapons, and those will definitely be useful later on. Runeful Helms, easy 63k. Okay, my ale went bad again. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what the odds are here. When I was brewing this, the wiki said ale has a 90% chance to be normal, 5% chance to become mature, and 5% chance to go bad. But as of right now, editing this video, the wiki says, and I'm quoting here, there is roughly a 20% chance for an ale to go bad. Confirmation needed. So instead of complaining about bad RNG, I'm just gonna complain that I'm out of Harlander, and I'm giving up for now. You win this time, that. Ice Giant Task up next. Slayer Enchantment. Laren's Key. <gasps> the Return of the Monkfish. This drop really confused me the first time I saw it, because for whatever reason, the Ice Giants on Ice Plateau don't have this on their drop table, and I had killed a decent number of those. So this is where my Larinsky luck went. I don't like risking more than two of these at a time, so let's just turn these in for now. Dragon arrow tips. And dragon arrow tips. Yeah, I guess. Uh, okay, okay then, you guys have fun over there. I want no part of whatever that was. Nice, little bit more than 100k from selling the arrow tips. 39 Herblore, we can now boost to clean Irrits, which is something, I guess. And we have some more Harlander to throw into a vat until it... rots. Also, I put this monkfish in my menagerie, just like the last one. You ever just bury a longbone because you're bored? Monkfish? 71 hit points? We're only... uh... hang on a sec. 15 more hit point levels away from 85 combat. Yeah, that's not happening. We'll probably train some defense next episode. Ran our seed? We actually have three of those now, and we're one level away from planting them. 56 Slayer, and that is task completed, but I have to kill a few more since I broke my looting bag to get my seeds out. Nope. 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 Level 74 ranged. Nope. Thank you. I just want like 25 dry. It's a 1 in 3 drop. I have to say, this joke doesn't really work when I have ground items turned on. 32 farming. I do really wish I had super compost for these Ranar seeds, but there isn't a charter ship in Relica, so I can't just buy pineapples, and I don't think there are any other easily accessible items that make super compost. Anyway, now that we have our Ranars, let's pick up some free snape grass from Waterbirth Island. Man, what a convenient source of herb lore secondary ingredients. I wish I could note these potions and take them with me, but we don't have that technology here. I'm just dropping them. Had some AFK time, 55 fletching. That's the level for broad bolts. Those will be useful later. Next task, bandits. Not to be confused with rogues, bandits are actually a new one.
So there are the level 22 bandits, and there are the level 130 bandits. I'm just gonna chill here till the big guys de-aggro. Anybody want some pizza? <sighs> How are we doing on that timer? This is a task I'd be very nervous doing if I didn't have a Slayer Ring to teleport me out, because it's above level 20 wilderness and it's in multi. Task completed. Nothing too interesting except for some nice herbs. I think this tower is going to be my new spot for wilderness herb lore. And of course, the ale isn't mature. Our next task is... <laughs> Crystalia, you jokester. I chickened out of moss giants earlier. You honestly think I'm doing revenants? So I decided I'm doing revenants. I took a look at the drop table. It's got some cool stuff on it. I'm not expecting much. I'm planning on killing the goblin. But if I can get like one thing to take home as a souvenir, I'm happy. 100k entry fee is a little steep, but hopefully we won't die. So next time we won't have to pay it again. Also, I brought my main here so I can skull up. UIMs always lose everything on death, so there's no reason not to, and if by some miracle I get a rare drop, this will just make it a little bit sweeter. Yes! Bracelet of Ethereum, that's sick. Honestly, if I get nothing else, I'm happy with this. I got my souvenir. Ooh, Mahogany Planks, that is such a good drop. I will need these later to upgrade the POH. Maybe we'll hang on to these, I don't know. Battle staves? Uh, yeah, that's a drop, I guess. Don't think that's amazing or anything, but cool to see. All right, task completed. That was extremely successful. Very happy about that. I just want my stuff. Nobody kill me, please. Thanks. So I guess the battle staves get out and the ether gets sold. Pro tip, if you put one ether into a bracelet before you elk it, it elks for almost 2k more. Now the interesting question is, what do we do with the planks? We have actually had mahogany planks before. We got them from a high gamble at Barbarian Assault before eventually selling them to Sigmund. So if I wanted to be efficient and keep these, I'd likely be looking at level 65 construction and a portal chamber. And then I'd have access to some nice shortcuts to both Lunar and Waterbirth Isle. But consider this instead. Two chairs and a bookshelf. I risked my life for this lumber and I will do with it what I please. 